How's it going guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to completely 100% fix the lag, stuttering, or micro stuttering that you might have in Arma 2 or Daisy, uh, Operation Arrowhead, whatever, uh, any Arma game, uh, basically to fix that. Uh, now I can't help you if your computer isn't uh, actually good enough to run the game, but you know if it is and you're still getting getting like a stuttering motion or a micro stuttering like I had um, I'll show you how to fix that right now so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, not your computer uh, I guess I could have just uh, you want to go to your documents and then open up your armor too okay and once you get to uh, this you're going to want to you have two of these okay uh, you have armor 2 and armor 2 OA they're CFG files so you're going to want to open that with like notepad or uh, whatever you have on um, your computer. So open it with notepad and then uh, you get this. And what you're going to be looking for is GPU underscore max frames ahead. And this should be set to um, a thousand if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you want to just take, take away those three zeros and set it to one. So make sure GPU max frames ahead is set to one. And then you also want to make sure GPU detected frames ahead is also set to one. That I think that's I think that's put at three normally. So just change both of those to one, and then uh, file save. And then you're also going to want to do that same thing for Arma 2 OA. Depending on which uh, which one you're playing, if you're playing Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, then this is one you're going to be doing. Just change these two to one. Okay, and uh, that is that part. Uh, if you're still having problems, I recommend doing this also. This really actually helps. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. I, it might not seem like it, but once you start of the game, you're going to notice a major difference. Okay? You're going to want to right-click the game, uh, Arma 2 or Arma 2 OA, DayZ, whatever, and click Properties, and then click this, Set Launch Options. Once you do that, you want to put this. I'll put this in the description. You just want to put dash CPU count equals and then the amount of CPUs that you have. Uh, that meaning, um, if you don't know what that is, uh, just click on, go to your computer, and then properties, and your processor, whatever, uh, how many cores your processor has. Uh, so, see for instance, mine is just a, a dual core, 2.50 gigahertz. Not the best, but it, it, it's able to run uh, Arma 2. Now that I've done this, uh, easily at 50 frames uh, per second so uh, so dual core if you have a quad core you're gonna put four if you have a duo core you're gonna put three and you just have a single core you just put one it's that simple if you have eight cores and put eight it's really simple so put, depending on how many cores you have that's the number that you're gonna want to put in the CPU count equals okay so dash CPU count equals the amount of uh, cores that you have and now you're going to actually want to start up uh, the game and I'll show you uh, what to do. Alright, so once you're in game, you're going to want to click your options. And you might uh, see that I have a little bit of stuttering. Uh, not really stuttering, but just lag going on. Not really, but uh, you might notice a little bit of uh, slowdown in my FPS. But it has nothing to do with... Uh, it just has to do with fraps. Uh, I'm just getting a lower frame rate. Fraps usually lowers my FPS like uh, 40 FPS. So, anyways, uh, you want to click controls and then smoothing. This is usually set like way up here or something, or in the middle. You want to drag this all the way down to uh, to zero, just nothing. Okay. And uh, once you've done that, uh, you should experience seriously no more stuttering in the game. Um, that's what I did and my video options are still set up to it pretty I mean they're, they're it's all a normal uh, quality performance high my resolution is pretty high so I mean it should be able to run your game no more lag no more stuttering none of that alright guys so once you start up uh, once you start up uh, the game you should experience no lag whatsoever um, you might notice that it, it might stutter a little bit or low FPS for me right now. Be just do completely to fraps. Um, 
just before I started Fraps, I was getting 50 to 60 frames. Now that I've started it, I'm getting 25 uh, flat, pretty much. So, um, anyways, I hope this video uh, helped you guys out. And if you liked it, be sure to give it a like. If you want more stuff like this, then uh, be sure to subscribe. We're going to check it out. Uh, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to watch my other Let's Plays, go check that out. Do all that good stuff, alright? So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.